All right, so we're gonna start off with some body weight squats. Arms are gonna come in front. We've got 10 of these to start off with. So keep your chest up nice and high. Feel free to start shallow, gradually come deeper and deeper. Good, make sure you're sitting back. Three more, two, good, and last one. Okay, alternating forward with the right leg. Come into a lunge, release with the arms. We're gonna do five a side here to start off with. Nice and long in the lunge, and come as low as you feel comfortable to do so. That's the way, looking good. All right, I'm gonna do one more each side. Good, and this is your last one. Okay, now for a high knee march. Bring your right knee up, followed by your left. Little bit of twist with the upper body. We've got five a side of these. Standing up nice and proud. Bring your elbow down towards your knee. One more each side, and hold it there. Okay, star jumps next. Feet nice and wide, hands come up as high as you can. 10 in total. Good. That's the way. Okay, three more. Last one, and hold. Okay, upper body release. Just releasing through the upper body. Twist, let your head follow your shoulders. Five side of these. That's it, last one each side, and hold it there. Okay, coming down on the mat. Five nice easy push-ups to start off with. So coming onto your toes or onto your knees. When you're ready, let's go down. Good, nice even cadence, not too fast. Take your time. All right, five of these in total. Last one. And from there, stretching back through the calf. So we're gonna start by straightening the right leg, pushing your heel down towards the ground. And then also only for the other side. You should feel that stretch all the way down the back of your leg. All right, drop into your knees, coming back into a child's pose. So pushing your bum back onto your heels, just trying to relax down into the floor. Take a couple of deep breaths. And up we come. Uh, in. Standing up, a dynamic chest stretch. Opening up to the chest, so nice and wide. Just three of those, then we're gonna roll the arms forward. Nice big circle forward. Three forward and three in the reverse direction. All right, about halfway through. Let's start again, feet a bit wider this time. This time I'm gonna come into a nice deep squat, reach for the floor, reach for the ceiling. Reach for the floor, reach for the ceiling. So 10 of these is called a sumo squat because your feet are nice and wide. That's it, proud of the top. Five down, halfway there. How are you feeling, Fiona? Starting to feel warmed up? Good stuff. Okay, two more to go. That's it, and last one. Hold it there. Okay, right foot back into a backward lunge. So similar to the lunges we did before, except this time you're gonna be stepping back. Feel free to release those arms. Take it back nice and long. That's four aside, we're gonna stop at five. Good, that was our last one. And from here we're gonna go into repeater. So bring your knee through, five aside here. And five, change sides. Five, four, three, two, and one. Jumping jack now, so our feet come wide, hands together, feet come wide, hands together. So these are a little different to the star jump. The feet are gonna be nice and wide, come nice and low, shoot those arms forward, back into your rib cage. Good, okay, three more. And last one, hold it there. Okay, now for a toe reach, and reaching across, all down from side to side. As you come across, take your weight as far across as you can. That's four, one more each side. And hold it there. Come and join me on the mat again for some push-ups. Okay, hands wide, shoulders over your hands, and let's go down. That's the way, so nice and low. Five is your goal here. Should all be feeling pretty warm by now. Getting close to the end of our warm-up. That's it. And Hold it there. Okay, dynamic calf stretch. Pushing your heels down. Feel that stretch to the back of the leg. And then let's alternate to the other side. Good, drop to your knees, child's pose, taking it back. Okay, 
Okay, feet in, standing up. So now we're gonna finish on the last stretch. So reach up nice and high. Just leaning over to the left hand side to start off with. Good, change to the other side. Should feel that stretch all the way down the side of your body. Great. All right, Fiona, they're warmed up and ready for you. Warm and ready to go. All right, guys, so now we're into the main body of our workout. We're going to do a little circuit. We're going to go two rounds through. We're going to work on sculpting and toning those muscles and getting your heart rate up. So let's go back to the squats. This time we're going to start with a squat and we're going to step across our right side. So let's go, Tony. You ready? Yep. Squatting down, step laterally, squat down. Good. So now that your body's warm, you can start to work a little bit deeper into those squats. Now we're going to go 10 squats in total, so four more. Oopa. Good job. All right, to the centre. Bring your knees down. We're going to go back down into push-up position. This time we're going to move the upper body a little bit. So whether on your knees or your toes, let's take it down into a push-up. Back up. Keep your knees or feet where they are. Shift across and repeat. Nice controlled tempo. Make sure you activate your core. Keep your spine in neutral. Good. Nice wide hands. They should be just underneath your chest and shoulders. And we're going to do 10 reps in total. So four more push-ups to go. Keep your tailbone tucked under, guys. Belly button drawn in. Last one. Beautiful, back to centre and coming up. Now let's work into the lunge. So we're going to do a dynamic lunge just like in the warm up. Stepping forward, down, up, step back, change sides. And what I want you to do is control your movement, work on your technique, but be nice and dynamic with your upper body. Keeping your chest up nice and proud. So lower body movement followed by upper body movement followed by lower body. Gets that heart working. Should feel your respiration start to increase. Last two. And one more time. Good job. All right, let's shake out the legs. Round two, good to go? Good to go. All right, feet a little bit wider this time. Let's squat down, reach, step laterally, and squat again. Now we're gonna go a couple more reps this time. So 12 squats in total. If you're feeling a little bit more energetic, you can hop across like me or you can stay with Tony. Good, halfway. Should be feeling those legs, guys. Nice burning through the thighs. How you doing there, Tony? Yeah, good. Good. One more set each way. Excellent, and back to centre. Let's drop it down to the floor, working through the upper body. So same as before, guys. Hands right in, underneath the chest. Nice long body, two down, two up. Keep your body tight as you shift across. Now where I'd like you to be is at 90 degrees with your elbows. 12 reps in total. You're struggling with your form. Just pull that line of the body back just a little bit. So create a bit of a box like so. Or you can even take out that lateral movement. Good. How are you going there, Tone? Oh, yeah, feels like a lot of <laughs> You're ready to change, aren't you? Yep. All right, let's take it up. Good. Back to our dynamic lunge, the so stepping right side forward. Lunge and back. So a little bit smoother this time. Just a couple more reps than the last round. Can you feel your heart rate getting up? Oh, yeah, it's starting to sweat. All right, looking good. Eight, four more. Last two. And take a little rest, well done. Give the body a little bit of a shake. Time to towel down and have a drink, and it's up to you. If you're feeling good and ready to rock, we'll go straight into circuit number two. All right, I'll give Tony a couple of seconds to have some water. I'm all good. Alrighty guys, so we're gonna make it a little bit more dynamic in the second circuit, also two sets through. We start with our squat again, but be ready to pivot, okay? You ready, Tone? Let's take it down. Down, up, 90 degree pivot with your right leg, back to center. 
Pivot the other side. Good, that's one set. Keep your alignment. Same cadence as before. That's two sets. We've got three in total for this first round. Last squat. Beautiful stuff. Let's hit the mat again. Upper body work. So we're going to do a bit of a panther crawl here. Hands are a little bit closer than with our normal push-up. You're on your knees or your toes, you choose. We're going to come down to one elbow, the other elbow. Push up onto the palms. Start in the same position. Alternate left and push up. Right and push up. Left. Great exercise for the triceps, guys. Right and press. Good. One more set through, left side, and lift up. Good, everybody come back. Well done, let's take it up. Lunging, this time to the side. So let's take a nice big step across, release the arms, lateral lunge, center, and change. Good, now this is a new exercise for you, perhaps. We didn't do this in the last program. So just feel your way into the movement. Keep your trailing leg nice and straight. Your knee comes right over the ankle. Put your back straight as always. Nice strong arms. Good, last one. Excellent, step to center and shake it out. Round one done. Ready for round two? Same exercises guys, just a couple more reps. Let's start with our squat and 90 degree pivot. Here we go. Down and change. I don't know about you, Tony, but I'm working up a sweat over here. Oh yeah, feeling my legs for sure. <laughs> Excellent. Remember, this is full body sculpting and toning, guys. You should be able to feel it everywhere. We keep the body moving. We lift up the heart rate. That's how we improve your fitness. Good. We're going to go one more round each side. So reach, pivot, reach, pivot. Almost there. Well done. Okay, back to the floor. Upper body work. You ready? Panther crawl. So, nice line with the body, hands right underneath the shoulders. Let's take it down, right elbow. Press up right underneath the shoulder, left. Take it controlled. This is not just upper body movement. This is core. Don't let your hips wobble around. Good and press, excellent. We're gonna go one more set, guys. Hope you're keeping your belly nice and tight and feeling that in the triceps. Press up, good, take a little rest. Up we go. <laughs> Sweating, Tony, oh, it's yeah. a good thing. <laughs> Lateral lunge, you ready? Step across, good, center. If you're struggling to keep up, just slow it down. Aim to pick up your technique so that you can keep up with us the next time you do this exercise. Good, we've got six sets in total. That's four. Are you smiling? Are you smiling? I'm trying to, <laughs> it's hard. That was your last one, good job. Round two complete, excellent work. We're not done just yet, but we're through the main body of our workout. So tow down guys, have a drink, and come down to the floor when you're ready. All right, time for a little bit of mat work. I think so. Cool, so when you're ready guys, lay right down onto the floor. Bring your heels in slightly closer to the butt. Have a nice long spine, arms are relaxed, shoulders away from the ears. In our last workout, we worked with a hip extension. We're gonna do the same exercise, but we're gonna go with single leg. So lift one foot off the floor, and let's start by lifting your hips up to level, bridge position, and straight back down. This is an excellent strengthener for your glutes and your core. So keep the belly nice and tight. Just five each side, one more, push 
and release, good. Let's change sides. So lift one leg off the floor and extend. Controlled tempo. You should be able to feel that in the back of your legs. Make sure you activate your belly before you press. That's four. One more. Well done. And let's sit up. Good job. Oh. We're gonna turn it over. Quad position. So quad position is hands right underneath your shoulders, knees right under underneath your hips, neutral spine, so belly is on. We're gonna go for an alternating Superman, which means one hand and the opposite leg extending out to straight. Let's give it a try. So extend your right hand, your left leg, reach for the opposite ends of the room and draw it back in. Just nice, even tempo. Breathe in, breathe out. This is a fantastic core strengthener and very good for your postural muscles. Try and work with as much control as you can. Imagine you're balancing a glass of water on your back and you don't want to spill it. Breathe in. Exhale. Very important you keep your eye line to the floor and your hips nice and level. Inhale. Exhale, I believe we have one more, Tony. That's right. Excellent. So keep that belly switched on, guys. We're almost there. And exhale, draw it back in. Nice work. Let's hit the floor. So all the way down. Okay, we're gonna come up into plank position. So we introduced this last program. Elbows right underneath the shoulders. Keep your knees on the ground, but your toes tucked under. Let's lift the hips off the floor, activating the belly. Now I want you to extend one leg to straight. Drop your knee back down and extend the other. Notice my hips aren't moving, okay? We lock everything on as we alternate. Lifting the knee off the floor and change. Good. Again, we're going to go with 10 each side. Make sure the belly's switched on. Nice, steady breath. Should be able to feel this right behind your belly button. Good work, guys. One more each way. Right and left. Beautiful job. Let's push back. Keep the arms extended, sitting onto your heels. Beautiful effort. All right, round two, same circuit. So let's drop it down. Okay, hit the mat, nice long spine, heels in close. Remember from before, we're gonna lift one foot off the floor and we're gonna extend hips to ceiling. Let's go, lift and down. Only five guys and we're almost at the end of the workout. Take your time, moving slow. Keep those hips level, last one, push and release, good. Whereabouts are you feeling that, Tony? Change. Through my glutes. Excellent. Push the hips up. So the glutes are your butt muscles and that's right where you should feel it. Lift and control. Again, if we're going too fast for you, slow it down, take it at your own pace and work to increase the intensity as you get more comfortable with the exercise. One more. Up and release, good job. All right, let's sit it up, turn it over. Back to quad position. So knees underneath your hips, hands underneath your shoulders. Draw the belly button in and let's extend. Breathe in. Exhale. Breathe in. Exhale. Nice job there, Tony. Four more each way. I want you to try and touch the opposite ends of the room. So reach, lengthen. Feel those postural muscles work. Activate your core. Good, two more. Excellent work team, last one. Is your core still switched on? Beautiful. All right, hit the mat. All the way down, elbows under. 
Okay, you ready guys? Anchor the feet, leave your knees on the floor, lift the hips. Now let's extend one leg, lift the knee. Drop it down without moving your hips. Alternate. Now guys, if you're struggling with this exercise, just keep working on your regular plank. Keep both knees on the floor and take it up the next level as soon as you're ready. Excellent. Got two more each side. Keep the back of the neck nice and long. Should be looking just past your hands. Keep activating the deep abdominal muscles. One more. Well done, hips down. All right, let's push back. Take a little stretch. Hands stay long, butt to your heels. Good, and coming up. All righty, we're gonna do a little bit of side planking. So this is another new exercise for us today. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna orientate ourselves on our sides. Elbows are right underneath your shoulders. Knees are bent and in line with your body. Make sure your hips are forward, guys. Now, where you're at for this is hands on the floor for support. I'm gonna show you some progressions. We're gonna come up and we're gonna hold, okay? You ready? So leaving your knees and elbow on the floor, let's lift up the hips, hips off the floor, and we're gonna hold for 15 seconds. If you're comfortable with this, hand on top of the other leg, head in line, Got another five seconds, guys, so keep holding. Drawing that belly in. And release nice and slow. Excellent work. Alrighty, let's turn to the other side. So what we do to one side, we must do to the other. Knees down, hips on the ground, elbow underneath the shoulder. Let's get the other hand on the floor for support and lift the hips. Keep that there or take it on top of the leg. Your choice. Keep your head in line. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Beautiful effort coming down. All right, guys, how'd you feel? It was good. Where was it? Right here in the sides? Right. Excellent, we've got one more round. Okay, so we're gonna hold for a little bit longer this time. So let's set up just the same, guys. Elbow right underneath your shoulder. Hips forward, knees on the floor. Here, if you're not comfortable, take it up to the next level if you're ready with me. Let's go. Lift, inhale, head in line, hold. Try and be aware of where your posture is. Excellent, now if you're ready, the next level is here. Turning your head if you've got no issues with your neck. That's all up to you. Five more seconds, five, four, three, two, one. Take it down nice and slow. Excellent work. Of course, when you're ready, guys, you don't have to stick with our limits. You can build on that. You can hold for as long as you like. All right, one last round. Elbow underneath, knees in line, hips forward. Support if you need it and lift. Hand on top when you're ready, head in line. Keep the breathing nice and steady. Keep drawing the belly button in. I promised you a little bit longer. We've got 10 seconds to go. And five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Good job. Take it down nice and slow. And that was the end of our workout. We've got some cool down exercises to do, I think. Tony's going to take you through that. Right, Hope you're nice out, and Kenna. sweaty. Cool. Okay, time for the cool down. So what I want you to do is lying back. Take, your, take yourself down. Let's start off with a nice long stretch. So taking your fingers away from your toes, trying to create as much distance as you can. Point your fingers away, point your toes away. Nice long stretch. All right, from there, bring your knees into your chest. Give your knees a nice strong hug. Bring yourself into a nice tight ball and hold it there as strong as you can. You're gonna release that. Let your feet come down. Then you let your feet come, sorry, your knees come over to the right hand side. Place your arms down and turn your head to the opposite side. This is the lower body, torso rotation. Great stretch for the lower back. And 
from there, come back up through centre. So spin your head and your knees in the opposite direction now. Good. Make sure you're breathing deeply into these stretches. Got to slow your rate of breathing down. Okay, let's come out of that stretch. Now what I want you to do is take your right ankle over your left knee. One hand's going to come through the centre, the other one around the outside. Grab just under your knee and pull into your chest. And where you're going to feel that stretch is right through your glutes there. Nice strong stretch. I love this stretch. As strong as you can. And let's release there. We're going to change to the other side. I think this stretch loves you too, Tony. <laughs> I think my glutes are loving this stretch at this stage <laughs> of the workout. After all those hip extensions you put it through, Fiona. I know. There'll be more next time, that's for sure. I'll be there. Okay, let's release that. So from there, take both legs forward, sitting yourself up, lie both legs flat, and reaching forward along your calves. Take your head down towards your knee, come as low as you can. So you should feel the stretch all the way down to the back of your legs, back of your calves, up to your low back as well. That's another quite nice feeling stretch. Okay, from there, taking your left leg over, and we're gonna do a spinal twist. So one hand's gonna go behind, left hand's gonna go behind. Turn your head right around so you should be looking over your shoulder, and as you do that, you push on that left knee, push it away from you. It's another great lower back stretch and a good stretch for your glutes as well. Okay, let's come out of that stretch, come back through center, we're gonna change the other side. So one foot over, hand behind you, Twist and lift. All right, from there, coming back through centre. Right, we're going to come into a prone position now. We're going to stretch through our calves. So we're going to start by pushing your right heel down towards the ground. Really try and get the most out of these stretches. Push as strong as you can. Now that the body is as warm as it's ever going to be, it's a great time to promote flexibility. Nice, strong feeling stretch all the way down through the calves. And from there, let's change for the other side. So making sure that your stretch leg is straight. All right, from there, we're gonna drop to our knees, coming down into a child's pose. It's a lovely relaxing stretch, this one. Just let your body come down to the floor. And we're going to come out of that stretch, we're going to scoop forward, scoop forward, lifting your chest, coming to a back extension, lift up nice and high. You should feel that tightness there through the lower back. And coming out of that stretch, make a lunge forward with our right leg. So nice long lunge, pushing hips forward, your chest stays up. You take your left hand up and over, and let's take it down to one side. From there, releasing there, take your weight back. Straightening that right leg out, pulling your toes back, take your chest down, shift for that stretch all the way to the back of the leg. And coming out of that stretch, change for the other side. Hips forward, reach up and over. And release, hamstring stretch, stretch chest down. Okay, knees together. Hands behind, we're gonna stretch with the chest now. So chest up. Arms straight, feel that stretch all the way across the shoulders. It's another great stretch. <laughs> They're all great. And from there, we're going to take our right hand up, reaching down to the centre of the back. We're going to lean across to the left. You're going to feel that stretch all the way down through your side and through the side of your back. And from there, reach up and change. And relax. All right, Fiona, Good great job. workout. Well Excellent done. Work. Well done, guys. Hope you had a great workout. I certainly enjoy that, and I know I'm certainly going to feel that tomorrow. <laughs> and we look forward to see you on the next eFit30 workout. Good job, guys.